Thanks to you, Green, for sponsoring this video. Hey, welcome back. All right, today we're having a look at seven different accessories for your desk setup. This time, I went with a wide variety of items. I'm pretty sure you'll find something you like. And make sure to let me know which one is your favorite down below so that I can dive deeper in this category for future episodes. These types of videos take quite a bit of time to prepare as I do get emails pretty much every day from companies trying to send me their products, but most of them are not great. So I have to research quite a bit to find accessories that are actually worth talking about to keep these videos exciting. As always, links to all the items I mentioned in this video will be in the description. But let's not waste any more time and have a look at these accessories. First item we're looking at today is a Wi-Fi enabled speaker from Edifier, the MS50A. While it does work with Bluetooth like most small form factor speakers, this one being Wi-Fi capable enables additional wireless connectivity options such as AirPlay 2 and Spotify Connect. Physically speaking, this speaker does look premium with its walnut finish surrounding the back and a cloth grille hiding a tweeter and woofer pushing 40 watts RMS. The top features touch controls which include next previous, play pause, volume control by rotating around the dial and a button to switch between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. As with most Wi-Fi enabled speakers, these settings can also be controlled on the device that streams the content. It's also compatible with the Edifier Home app where you can update the firmware when needed and manage stereo pairs as you can sync two of these together so they appear as a single stereo source, no additional wires needed. Although it is Alexa compatible as you can target the speaker to play back audio using Alexa, it is not a smart speaker as it doesn't have a microphone if you are concerned with privacy. I'm a frequent user of the Sonos One, which is a very similar product to the MS50A, and I believe the Sonos is better overall, with a more compact form factor, a more powerful ecosystem, the possibility for wired ethernet, and a better sound, but I'll let you be the judge on that. To me, the Sonos One has more sub bass and more detailed higher frequencies, while the Edifier MS50A has a bit more mid bass. However, the Sonos One, even in its SL version, is more expensive than the MS50A, making it a more budget friendly option with still plenty of amazing features. Next up is an amazing product for your charging needs and the sponsor of today's video. This is the 100 watt Diginess Pro GAN power strip from Ugreen, an all-in-one station to charge your tech with up to 100 watts of power across its USB ports. This product simplifies your power needs with 7 power ports in total. It is a power strip first, with 3 regular AC outlets, two of which that are at the back with a ground and another one on top for two prong connectors, which is great if you want to expand the already large selection of USB charging ports. Then at the front, you get three USB-C ports and one USB-A for all your charging needs. All ports add up to 100 watts with a bunch of possibilities in how the power can be split. You can either use the full 100 watt to one of the first two USB-C ports or split the 100 watts across all ports, let's say 65 watts with two additional 10 watt ports, or go with 30 and 45 watts for the first two ports and then 10 watts for the last two. If you dedicate 100 watts to a single USB-C port, you can benefit from fast charging speeds that can fully charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro in one and a half hour. These are only a couple of the multiple permutations that are available with this array of USB ports. As an example, you could charge a MacBook, an iPad, a phone, and a pair of headphones all at once with this device. And then you still have three AC outlets for additional power. It is a very nice solution for a charging station and can charge many devices at once. It's also great as a desk setup accessory as it can likely charge all your peripherals, such as wireless mice, trackpads, headphones, keyboards, portable lights, and more. 
Finally, it's also great for on the go. Instead of carrying a charger for your laptop, you can bring this instead as it is a very capable charger for all your tech and also get the benefit of having a power strip with you at all times. Finally, although it's a very capable charger and power strip, the built-in GAN chip and fire retardant housing provides overload and overcurrent protection. I'll have a link to this exact product in the video description with a coupon code if you're interested. Next up is another item from Ugreen and it's their 3-in-1 wireless charging station. This product can wirelessly charge an iPhone, an Apple Watch and AirPods all at once. Being MagSafe compatible, it provides 15 watt fast charging for iPhones. It's also MFI certified, meaning Apple verified this product to be safe and fully compatible with Apple products. Not only that, it does look and feel premium with its white and chrome metal finish. At the back is where you'll find its single USB-C port, providing power for all three charging pads. Although it can charge up to three devices at once, it's still super compact and allows iPhones to be charged vertically and horizontally with the possibility to adjust the angle as well. All in all, a great charging station if you're in the Apple ecosystem, matching any light theme setup out there. Again, I'll also have a link to this product in the video description with a coupon code if you're interested. All right, next up is a new smart light product from Govi. This is the neon rope light, and unlike regular LED strips, it is highly diffused with its soft silicone body for super smooth color gradients, and it's also wall mountable with the intent to come up with your own design. Although a lot of designs are proposed within the app where you are guided regarding where the mount should be placed, I decided to go with my own design coming out of my wall shelves and then surrounding one of my acoustic panels. I'm quite happy with the result as I can hide the controller and power cable on one of the shelves as well as in the existing cable raceway I had there. This smart light comes with the RGBIC technology from Govi, meaning it can display multiple colors at once on the different sections of the rope. This is pretty nice as you can have gradients or animations flowing along the rope. Colors are also super vibrant and bright. I don't think this could be a single source of light in a room, but it's definitely a solid accent lamp if you're into this kind of look. As with other Govi products, it is controlled within the app where you can select the color of each segment, use a preset animation or the music sync mode where the light will follow the rhythm. If not, you can always control it with Google Home or Alexa. All in all, a very capable smart RGB light. I couldn't not include a mechanical keyboard in this list. So here, I present you the Iconix OG80 Darkside, a 75% mechanical keyboard with a very unique design. It features a smoky polycarbonate case and white on black PBT double shot keycaps, hence the name Darkside. These keycaps are pretty nice indeed, the legends are precise and they feature a cherry profile. The design is also very interesting as the F row is angled a bit, part of the taller forehead which also features this slatted design at the back. This is also where you'll find the USB-C port, used both for a wired connection or simply for charging, as this keyboard also supports Bluetooth and a faster 2.4GHz connection. The latter works with a dongle which can be stored in the top left corner section of the keyboard. This connection is lag free and good enough for casual gaming from my own tests. Bluetooth, on the other hand, is more practical for mobile devices or on the go. This keyboard also features a large 4000 mAh battery, advertising 3000 hours of battery life with LEDs off on a single charge, which I haven't been able to test unfortunately, still quite promising. It comes with three switch options, all from TTC, however, it seems like the stems are a bit smaller than standard and thus keycaps don't fit snug and can easily be removed. It seems to be the switches really, as the keycaps fit snug on other switches. Just something worth noting, as some may want to replace these switches for something else. Other than that, these TTC-A switches are really great, super smooth with their factory lubrication process and 60 gram double extension springs. The stabilizers are cherry style so they're easy to play with, but I would argue they would benefit from some additional tuning as they rattle a bit out of the box.
I think this keyboard provides a very unique design without needing to dive into custom mechanical keyboards with an overall great build quality. It would be a perfect fit in a dark themed desk setup or for a retro aesthetic. Next item is a tablet holder for desk setups. This one is fully metal and clamps the same way monitor arms do, so it's a very solid and premium holder. Its base can rotate and all three sections of the arm have joints that can freely move, although it's worth noting that they are very stiff and thus will be more than enough for the weight of the tablet. Finally, the tablet holder is mounted to a ball joint that extends as necessary so it can easily adjust to various screen sizes. All in all, I think this is a solid product if you want to integrate an iPad or other tablet a bit more permanently to your desk setup. The only downside is that the mount itself is mostly plastic and doesn't feel as premium as the rest of the arm, but it did seem solid enough for my tests. Alright, last item but not the least, this is the CL15 Portable Light by Vegeme. This light is super affordable and compact and is meant to provide diffuse light for video conference calls. It falls to a compact form factor, but when expanded, the suction cups are exposed and can be used to easily mount it at the back of a laptop. Although the build is mostly plastic, this lamp comes with a diffuser that attaches magnetically and you are able to adjust the temperature and intensity. It does have a built-in battery, so it can power itself for a certain time, but it also charges via USB-C. Finally, there's also a tripod mount at the bottom for a more permanent install. Like I said, this lamp is super affordable at $20, so you can't really go wrong if you're in the market for something like this. All right, I'm very curious to know which accessory picked your interest. Please let me know in the comment section. Next time, we'll focus on premium desk accessories. You definitely don't want to miss that, so make sure you're subscribed. Please like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.